Hello and welcome to today's course about non-relational databases through the use of MongoDB. For years, we have been working with the relational databases. We created websites, application, we ran analysis. However, with the emergence of big data, we needed more general tools to store data from multiple sources. So, we introduced non-relational databases. Understanding how to use non-relational databases is not difficult, but it does require to change the way you think, especially if you are coming from traditional relational database management system. This course is designed for you to help you understand non-relational databases through the use of MongoDB. MongoDB is one of the most popular non-relational databases. In this course, you will learn how to install MongoDB, create documents, to store data, organize documents in collections, write queries to read, update, and delete documents, and also how to index your data. As we are all data scientists or future data scientists, we will finish our course with discovering how to integrate MongoDB with application and code written in Python and R. Sounds interesting, isn't it? Now, without further ado, let's start our course. So you've got this new job. Congratulations, by the way. You set up with your managers for the first day and for your first mission, you need to create this recipe site. So on this first meeting, your bosses starts to draw for you enthusiastically their vision on the website. So your first boss say, the website needs to be fast and scale. Your second boss insists on storing comments from users and adds that we need to be able to convert the recipe between imperial and numerics because we want to go global. And don't forget about the likes. Oh, and also users rating of the recipe. We need a quick meal section and we need to make sure that we have an easy way to tag these recipes and we need to organize them by dinner and breakfast. We are going to need a JSON API. I also want to make sure that I can find any recipe I'm looking for. With all these tasks you think about, your head is spinning and it's only 12 p.m. You start wondering about all these features and how you are going to fit all of them in a relational database. What schema will you use? How many tables? But then your tacos arrives. Well, at least you have tacos. But what if I tell you that things don't have to be this complicated? What if I tell you that there is a way to fit all these features together in one database and it still can be faster? What if instead of designing a complicated structure, you can use rich documents? Well, here's the trick. Instead of using RDBMS, you can use MongoDB to help you with all of these. With this document model, you can store data in a more natural format that fits nicely into modern applications and with MongoDB will take care of almost all features the managers requested in one single document. For example, we can take our title and description, an array of likes and comments for user and an array for ingredients that we can break into quantity or an amount or units, an array of likes with user's ID and an array of tags with fields type. We're going to learn about how these documents work and how to query documents, how to create and administer your database, encode it and scale it. For this, we will be working with a local installation of MongoDB. So before we dive into the next video about working with documents and collection, let's first set up our MongoDB on a window machine. Are you excited yet? So, let's go find out how we can install MongoDB on Windows, but don't worry, it's super fast and super easy. So, here I will show you how to install MongoDB on Windows. If you have MacOS machine, the process is the same. You just have to check MacOS instead of Windows when downloading the package. So, let's go ahead and visit our MongoDB website. 
You can find the link either on the slides or in the first comment in this video or in the description below. Note that there are two editions for MongoDB. There is the Community Edition and the Enterprise Edition. For this course, we will use the Community Edition, since it's entirely free. MongoDB also have another cloud solution called Mongo Atlas that comes with a free trial. You can use it for this course and it will work for most of this course tasks. But to keep things simple and make sure that you can do the entire course, I recommend just downloading and running MongoDB locally. So here we are, back on the main page of MongoDB. You can go to Product, Community Server, and you should go to this page. It will default to the last version of MongoDB. Today, the last version is 5.0.5 and you can also choose your platform here. So we have Amazon, Red Hat, Ubuntu, and so and so. I'll keep it on Windows and we are going to choose the MSI file and start our download. Once it's downloaded, you will click at the MSI file and go through the default. Once it's installed, it will launch the MongoDB Compass, which is the UI for MongoDB. Once it's done, you can press the Connect button and you can go ahead and start exporting your database. For most of this course, I will use the command line so you can really see how MongoDB works. Besides, this way, it will be more easier for you to switch between operating systems. By default, all the program files are going to be in program files, MongoDB, server, and then the version you are using, and the most important, which is the bin directory. So let's go ahead and look what's inside in the bin folder. You will see a number of executable we can run, including Mongo, which we will use to connect to MongoDB, and also MongoD, which is the server process. Since we set up MongoDB as a service, we don't need to run it manually. But to do so, we can go into MongoDB directory, and then the server, and the version, and then the bin folder. We're going to run Mongo minus minus config, and then the configuration file, which is mongod.cfg. I'm not going to run this currently because it's already running on my computer. So we can just type mongodb and we're connected to our database. I can now show and run some commands such as show dbs and you will see all the databases that I have. To exit mongodb, we just type exit. Now, what we are going to do is to import some of the example data that we have in our exercise files. So to do so, I'm going to refer you to the exercise file. There is a folder there called collection where you will find two JSON files. So what we will do right now is copy these files into program files, MongoDB, server, our bin folder and then we just pass those files here and we will import all these files using mongodb import command so to do this we will write mongo import and then we need to give it a database name so minus minus db we will call our database recipes and then the file so for example we will use the examples.json and it will run as you can see it says that three documents were imported successfully now we will see if that worked. So again, we will connect to MongoDB and show databases. And now we can see that we have recipes database in our database list. Now, if we use recipes and show collections, we can see that we have our examples collection. Now my assignment for you is to try to do this import again to the file recipes.json. You can comment below the command that you use it to import this file. In the next video, you will learn about what are databases, what are collections, and how to query them. So until the next video, stay safe.